and it stops. Well, it came to a stop. Welcome to this news update from my electric earth. Well, it's so fantastic with this Tesla Model 3. When I was young, I was watching on TV new cool technology stuff from United States that was presented here in Europe that this is something coming sometimes in the future far away maybe it will come to Europe but now they are using this cool technology in Ju in the in the states nowadays with this car i see on youtube other channels presenting those new things coming to my tesla and I get the feeling that this is something that is coming maybe in the future sometimes. But it's so fantastic because pling in the middle of the night comes there is a Tesla update. I woke up maybe four o'clock in the morning and, and see that there is this Tesla update. I install it directly. And then I have this features here on my card that people were talking about on YouTube just a few days ago from from telling that these are these things are coming to the car YouTube channels in United States or other parts of the world well this is a really great feeling so let's dig in and see what kind of features have been updated to my car this time Okay, so I have this 2019 36 2.1 release and let's see what kind of release notes there is here. It's the stopping mood. And what is the stopping mood? Well, uh, it is when you stop the car, will it creep, will it roll or will it actually hold? On a normal... Uh, automatic transmission you have this thing that when you are not pulling anything pushing anything in the car the car is rolling by itself but Tesla took this f much further that you don't need to press the uh, braking pedal when standing on a traffic light you could just press the braking and it will hold the brake until you press the accelerator again but now they introduced this hold mode, which means that you never need to actually press the braking paddle when you stop the car. You just drive and release the, the accelerator and the car eventually comes to a stop with the regenerating braking system and you don't need to use the brake at all. This is something similar like um, the Nissan Leaf had also like a one-pedal drive, the e-pedal as they called it in the Nissan Leaf, the new model, not the one that I had. But there is one important difference in the Leaf. It's a combination of the disc brakes and regenerating braking system that makes the car comes to a stop. You have to go to driving and here you have the stopping mood. You have the creep options like before you have the roll which has been until now and then you have this hold option and now you can put this in hold like this and then you will have this option enabled that the car actually will stop when you release the accelerator okay let's try now and see how good this uh, stopping system is actually if we have a hill that is a little bit more steep Okay, here is a <clears throat> hill going down, so let's in try to stop here shortly. We will see if, we, if the car will stop in this hill here. Will it stop? It comes to a complete stop even if there is a hill here. Yeah, it is. 
doing that. Let's try again. Here is another hill right now. And it stops. Well, it came to a stop. Even if it goes down like this. And please note that I'm not pressing the braking pedal at all. It's really, truly one pedal drive. Let's try to go the other way now and go up through the hill. Now there is a car coming here. And see if, if it's any difference when I'm going up the hill. Will it start roll backwards? If I stop here, I have no car behind or something like this. No, I stop here. Yeah, it stops in the hill. Now there is a car coming behind me, so I have to go. So this makes the drive even more comfortable driving in the city when you have to start and stop all the time and cannot use the autopilot. you should use the brake paddle if something happens and you need to stop direct okay this guy is supposed to go first okay right well then he can You have this scheduled departure, which means that you can set a time when you're planning to leave with your car. So the car will be ready for you, both battery-wise and uh, also uh, preconditioned, so it will be warm or cold and so on. And you can schedule this all over a week, and you can also... Um, uh, and then the car will be ready for you, not only with the temperature inside the car, also the battery will be charged in an optimal way, so it will come up to the level that you set the battery to be. And also this is good for your battery, that if you sometimes need to charge to 100%, it will be charged to 100% just before you leave and not earlier in the evening. So let's see how to set a scheduled departure. Then you have to go to your charging menu or interface. And here it looks a little bit different than before. Now you can schedule a departure here like this and you have three options. Either it's, either it's off like now or you can start charging at a certain time. Similar uh, feature was already here before. You could set that it should start charging at maybe 10 o'clock in the evening or midnight or whatever. But now there is this third option, depart at. And here you could set a time when you are departing in the morning so the car will be preconditioned and the charging will be charged up to this time and will be ready for you at this certain time. As you can see, I have put this at 7.30 that I normally leave my house for my work. Uh, and also put it to weekdays or you can have it all week. And here there is also an option that if you choose all week, you can charge it to this level every day of the week of until 7.30, but only precondition the car during weekdays. If you remove this, the precondition will also be done during the weekends. The time is running out, so let's quickly go through what is more in this update. The power has increased with 5%. How is that possible? It's incredible. So I got better acceleration? How fast is it now? Do you know? Write in the comments below. And at last you can schedule your everyday route between home and work, so the navigator automatically starts to navigate accordingly to your weekly habits. You just set the points of your home and work in the navigator, 
check whether the uh, feature is enabled and go! Well, thank you for watching this dark movie. Uh, well, you know, I have the Facebook page uh, where I you can join me and see what is happening and so on. And right now I have a voting there. I would like to know if you are a owner of a Tesla Model 3 that is watching this or not. Go ahead to my Facebook page and participate in the vote there. Yes or no, if you have a Tesla Model 3 or not. Thank you very much if you're also subscribing here on YouTube to my channel. If you are not subscribing, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell. And, uh, well, we'll see you in the next episode. Until next time, have a great life.